Water and food are essential to the day-to-day -day life we lead. Most of us know, that the sun is a major factor in the formation of food, on earth, and in maintaining the balance of the environment. But what do you know about this sun, and what do you not know? Do you know of any objects that are bound to this sun by gravity? Scientists' interest in finding answers, to these questions has resulted, in the discovery of many facts about the sun today. The environment between us and us has an existence. The main factor is the sun. I say that because the sun is the main factor influencing photosynthesis. So one cannot imagine a world without the sun. The sun is so useful to us. In this video we will learn more about the known and unknown facts about the sun. The Sun, what is this planet we call the Sun? The Sun was born about 4.6 billion years ago. Many scientists believe that the Sun and the rest of the solar system are made up of giant, rotating gases, and dust clouds called the solar nebula. So when the nebula collapsed, it rotated rapidly and flattened into a disk, and scientists believe that most of the material was drawn toward the center to form the Sun. What is that? The star at the center of the solar system is the Sun including Earth, other planets asteroids, dwarf planets, orbit the Sun, and the Sun is responsible for about 99.8% of the mass of the solar system. Solar energy, sunlight, and heat are essential for all living things on Earth. Sunlight is primarily needed for photosynthesis. The Sun controls the Earth's climate, with a radius of 432,168.6 miles, 695,508 kilometers, our sun is not an especially large star, many are several times bigger, but it is still far more, massive than our home planet, 332,946 Earth's match, the mass of the sun. The sun's volume would need 1.3 million Earths to fill it. At the heart of our solar system is the sun, a hot ball of bright air that extends beyond the orbits of distant Neptune and Pluto. The initial temperature of the Sun is about 27 million degrees Celsius. Do you know of any objects that are bound to this Sun by gravity? What is that? The eight major planets and their 165 currently identified moons, it includes five dwarf planets, Pluto, Eris, Ceres, Mercury, Homia, and the four moons identified by those dwarf planets and about a billion smaller asteroids. The latter types of asteroids include objects in the Kuiper belt, comets, meteoroids, and interplanetary dust. What is contained in the Sun? The surface composition of the Sun is hydrogen about 73.46% by mass, about 92% of its volume. 24.85% by mass of helium, 7% by volume, and iron, nickel, oxygen, silicon, sulfur, magnesium, carbon, neon, it also contains very small amounts of the elements calcium and chromium. The Sun has a spectral class called G2V. That spectrum contains ionized and neutral metal lines as well as very weak hydrogen lines. G2 is defined as having a surface temperature of 5,780 Kelvin and therefore white. Due to atmospheric scattering, the Sun appears yellow from the Earth's surface. Spectral class V means that the Sun, like most stars, is a star in the main sequence. That is, energy is produced by the fusion of hydrogen nuclei and helium nuclei. Our galaxy has over 100 million G2 class stars. Considered a small and relatively insignificant star, the Sun is more than 85% bright in the galaxy. The distance from the center of the Milky Way to the Sun is about 26,000 light years, and the Sun orbits it. Its maximum orbital speed is about 220 km per second. That is, one light year travels every 1,400 years and an astronomical unit travels every 8 days. Current findings suggest that this distance may be correct, but that new knowledge may change these values. Video is over. In addition to these points, let others know what you know and comment on questions you don't know. Remember to subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.